All right, guys, comment down below exactly what country you're watching this video from, and let's take a deeper look at Bitcoin price action, because right now, Bitcoin is going insane, and it actually, on Bitstamp, hit 24.2 thousand, if not more, by the time that you're watching this video. All right, it's pretty damn crazy right now. The action, is it's just action freaking packed, and the fun thing is, we have put here the 2017 bull run on top of the 2020 bull run, and... I've also seen a lot of people tweet this. It looks quite similar. And, you know, this 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 little area right here at about 24,000 was our area of resistance. If we keep crossing that, if we keep continuing on, things are going to be looking very, very juicy for us. And we're most likely going to continue on all the way to about 29,000 or so. Or it would mean a very big fall down if we break down from 24,000 to about 13. If, if again, 19.5 and 16 are broken. Uh, 13.5 or so thousand, which would actually be very, very positive because it would mean that this move to about 90,000 90, or so is really uh, supported. And again, it really fits quite well if you were to honestly ask me. I mean, even this could work, but it could also work a little bit differently. I mean, a lot of different scenarios fit, right? This could also work where a bounce towards 16,000 is more prevalent. Uh, let's quickly check out. If we were to put it like this, it also fits really quite nicely, except that here we didn't hit as high. So that's kind of what I'm wondering of exactly how we should uh, draw this on top of each other. As it doesn't have to match perfectly, but it should follow kind of the, the idea, right? And most of them point towards 16,000 as the most important point for Bitcoin price action, though. And that's definitely the one I'm also following very, very closely. As I think if we do breach 24,000, that this is just the start of where we're going to be going. But if we do break, 16,000 is going to be our best marker kind of to, to kind of stick by. And some of the guys have also been drawing the price action like this, where again, 13,000 or even 9,000, this one is going to be like a, a bottom where the huge moves are still to come and 400,000 and stuff like that is our, our newer future. However, I want to be a little bit more realistic, more talking about what has really kind of been proven or so. And this is more like it, I find, right? If you were to just, I could actually show you guys exactly how I do that. You just take a bar pattern here. You, you draw, for example, from right here to right here, for example, and you put that on top and you scale it accordingly to where you think it's nice, right? Right now it's on the monthly dose. You're not going to get as many candles. I did it on the weekly uh, where I actually took these candles from, which makes it look a little bit better. But yeah, in general, I'm actually really kind of bullish about the whole situation. I'm very much excited. And I think a lot of good is to come right now as we speak for yeah for crypto in general. I'm, I'm just really, really, really happy. And I hope you guys are holding happily too. Prices are just going insane. Let's actually take a good look at the four hour. No, we can actually take a look at the one hour for BTC here. As you can see, we're getting very, very close to this 24,000 area on some exchanges, not all, of course, as we bounced on top, uh, of course, about two days ago already first. Went down a little bit again, trying again, hopefully not breaching it. Most likely going to be going all the way, zoom into 29,000 or so, since there's really not that much resistance going on anymore, except for just these big institutions who might be selling it to buy other cryptos. On the other side, though, on the other end, this is actually really interesting for me uh, because, first of all, it's following our pattern quite nicely, the one that we kind of drew here on the monthly, but also because right now it's not even, you know, real retail FOMO. Like, retail is excited, but it's not real retail FOMO. It is actually just a start of a bigger retail move. Like, right now it's mostly institutions that are buying and hoarding and getting into it, but it's only after, like, a couple more months or so or when Bitcoin really hits a higher point, which is maybe coming up here relatively soon, uh, when we're going to start seeing retail hype in and really buy at places which are not supported, which most likely cause these huge bumps, right? Like, right, this area is all supported, and if we fall back down to about 16 or so, we even have a more supported move, which would be very, very juicy. Uh, and I'm still debating on exactly how to draw it, as everything kind of just makes sense for for Bitcoin. It all just makes quite a lot of sense, but I'm trying to center it with a dip towards 16,000, which we're mostly... Uh, waiting for here. That's my most supposed downfall if we're going to see one. However, the upside for Bitcoin is just too great right now, guys. If anybody tells you about selling, you better slap them in the face because uh, to me, it doesn't look like a good decision. But again, these are not financial advice at all. XRP Profit 13 said, someone who I've been telling to buy XRP since 15 cents. I don't think it's 0.15 cents, but I think he means 15 cents, so 0.15 dollars. Seriously asked me if they should buy Bitcoin yesterday while it was at 23,000. I'm losing my patience with humans. Two things. First of all, he still made profit, though, if you bought a 23K. So, I mean, hopefully you told him yes. And second of all, this is something which is so well known to any crypto holders. And I, I want to actually know from any of you guys, 
Has nobody ever told you like, uh, should I buy crypto right now when it's at the highest point down below? Put it down below. Like I have only had people ask me to buy crypto or should I buy crypto and stuff like that when it's at the highest points. And even my own, my own kin, <laughs> some people that are really, really close to me had bought Bitcoin above 23,000 here because they FOMO'd in. They just wanted to have some. And I, I've told them, if you want to have it just to hold for the next five years or so, go ahead. If you want to buy it now to just sell it instantly again for a little bit of profit, don't bother because we're going to be falling down possibly a little bit again. You you mustn't come to me crying if something like that happens. And he was like, no, no, no. I'm just going to hold it on forever. I just need some Bitcoin for the bigger revolution eventually. I'm like, man, you buy it right on ahead because today is better than any time. If you're going to wait, you might end up having no crypto at all, right? Like we, we've established a little bit earlier. And I mean, if you were to wait for a big fall down, it could be that it's never going to come, or at least that this is the new baseline. Or if you, for example, had waited for another rush to about 3000 or so per Bitcoin, yeah, it could be that you're never going to get that return again. And so all I can say is just buy it and forget about it if you really are, um, you know, not in the mood or you're in the mood, I guess, to buy some crypto. On that same note, XRP Thor just posted, remember when $65 would buy you 440 XRP? Those were good times. And he has a screenshot attached which says, bought 400 XRP for $65, Coinbase fee $3, and the price per coin is about 14 cents. Huh! Ho <laughs> ho! Today, the same only buys you 109 XRP. You think about that, it makes you really freaking depressed. At least it does to me. It makes me really depressed about not buying more at the bottom. But hey, I guess it's also kind of cool that our money has also increased this much in such a short amount of time. Then XRP Tiffany had put here, it cost me $50 to get 90 XRP. You think about that for a little second? My 250 XRP giveaways are really starting to become expensive now if I have to do them. You think about that? In 2017 when I first started them and actually a couple of months ago in March, wow was it easy. Right, it's only 50 bucks to give away 250 XP right now. I'm just thinking here. It's like, how much is how much would that run me? I don't even know, but it's a lot. Right, it's over a hundred and something dollars, over 130, I think it is even. We can actually look it up pretty simply here. But it's crazy, especially if XRP is gonna continue with this rise for a little bit. Let's see, 250 XRP that we're giving away is $150. Huh. So that's uh it's a huge amount of money. <laughs> It's a huge sum of money that we're just giving away like that, but it's worth it, guys, because, uh, again, the whole YouTube journey for me started with a giveaway, which is why I do them, and even though you might have not seen one in a very long while, the last one was like a couple of, I think like two, three weeks ago already, we're doing them because I want to give away ones, which got me started into doing YouTube, and, yeah, I mean, we only give it away once we hit a like milestone, that's why it's not too often, because, I mean, I can't just give away $150 every single day, right? I would go broke, uh, not so quickly, but I would go broke eventually, I guess. If we were to just keep giving it away like that, it's, it's a lot of money to do. So I cannot do, but once every two weeks or so, something like that, we can definitely do that, which is why I just put some like requirements. Now, yesterday we did hit, oh no, it's the day before yesterday, we hit 1,400 and something likes already, so it's not like it's impossible, it does happen on occasion, just not that often, right? So that's why I just reward me with that like button if you want to win some money, that's the way it works. Then, U.S. government voids public comments or comments on newly proposed crypto wallet rule. They have actually pushed this through, right? Uh, I don't know if I'm talking about that later today or before today because I already recorded the video, but I don't know if I already have it up or not because uh, I might switch these two videos up. I don't know yet. I'm talking in both uh, about kind of the same subject but a little bit differently, only I want to make my videos a little bit shorter, which is why I'm splitting some of these things up right now. However, the point is, the US is coming out with these newer wallet rules it is pulling through. Even though the comments about it were really, really negative and everyone was saying like, no, don't do it. The US still gives no crap. They're still pulling on through and it's going to be bad. It's going to be really, really bad. I don't like it at all. Like uh, I, I've talked about or will talk about. I guess it's, it's the video before this one because uh, I'm recording this one afterwards. So I think that would be the logical way to put it. Uh, but yeah, I'm not happy with that. I don't know why the US is going for that way. Uh, I guess it's just their own priorities over the ones of the public. And the, the reason they give is they want to fight crime, which I do get in a certain sense as well. But as of this point, we only have 15 uh, kind of days of, of, of in the middle. FinCEN is providing only 15 days, a highly accelerated time frame from public comment to administrative rules by the administration. And they're just ignoring everything. It's, it's not going to change anything and it's just going to pull through. And I'm just really, really tired of everything that's pulling on through. And most likely we'll, we'll already see this come into effect in a couple weeks from now. 
and most likely they won't back down from it regardless. So, uh, I mean, commenting is nice, but I don't know if it's going to be bothered or if they're going to change anything because of it. And then the Crypto Bull posted next week's expectations for XRP. Impulsive move beyond $3, most likely $5 to $7 range. Correction down to $3 and holding as support. And move to $13 to $15 range. I hope you're ready for life-changing money. And all I can say is, guys, do not believe this crap. It could happen. But don't go out from it. I mean, he can expect it, which I admire. I mean, you can expect anything. But do not expect the price to get there. Otherwise, you're going to let yourself down. All right? Please, guys, do not think it's going to happen. But have it in the back of your head that it could happen. Are you guys getting it? Like, it can happen, but don't go out from it. Because, um, you know, $3 can happen in the span of like five days. It's really possible. It's really possible. We can have some 80% days consecutively. It has happened before for XRP. We can even have 200% in one day. It could happen. But you shouldn't expect it to. You shouldn't expect it to. You should expect to be at exactly the same point where we're at today, uh, depending, of course, on how Bitcoin is going to move. But yeah, just follow Bitcoin and, and act accordingly. If Bitcoin goes up like crazy, you better stock up on altcoins because altcoins are going to go after Bitcoin goes. So I am personally stocking up on altcoins like a madman. I'm literally just filling my bags as fast as I can. But, you know, that's me. If you're not doing the same thing, hey, you're on loss. This is not financial advice regardless. So you can do whatever you please. I'm not your dad. But yeah, thank you all for watching this video. XRP is going to go crazy still though, so do not worry about it. I'm at least not worried about it. Very, very excited. Check out Unstoppable Domains and check out Weeble. And I'll see you guys again in another crypto video.